We're all dreaming of the next big trip, sometimes even when we're on the current one. The problem is that the urge to travel is not exclusive to having enough money to do so. So today we're gonna to talk about how to save money for your next road trip. Tip number one, cut back on eating out. The fact of the matter is, is that eating out is expensive and detrimental to any kind of eating out that you're gonna do on your trip. Think about it this way. Every single coffee, pizza, or dinner out that you have while you're at home is one less dinner or meal or coffee that you're gonna have while you're on the road. Bonus points, every time that you think about having a coffee or getting a pizza or eating out in general while you're at home, put five or 20 bucks in your piggy bank. It adds up really fast. Tip number two, park the four wheels. Gas and wear and tear on your vehicle is killing your adventure budget. Depending on your commute, try walking, try taking the bus, or if those aren't options, try making your bike your daily commuter. Paying for gas for your bike is still gonna be a whole lot better than the black pit of doom that is your daily commute. Bonus points, do the math about how much money you're saving taking your bike instead of four wheels, and then take that difference and put it into your piggy bank. For example, I spend about 56 bucks a week putting gas into this truck. It takes about $11 to put gas into my bike. So the $45 that I'm saving not putting gas into Bubba goes into the trip piggy bank. Tip number three, cut back on toys. I know this sounds super counterintuitive and I'm not saying that you can't buy Fargles for your bike that are gonna make your trip more comfortable. What I'm saying is that you should really think about every purchase that's not a necessity. Do you really need new clothes or can you patch or fix the ones that you already have? Do you really need new tools or can you borrow it from somebody else? Bonus points, you should take the money that you are going to spend on those things and put it into the trip piggy bank. Tip number four, try to create additional sources of income. This can mean anything from doing odd jobs to selling some of your stuff. If you have a decent car or a truck, you could drive for Uber or Lyft on the weekends or in your spare time. Or depending on your skills, you could get paid to write resumes for people. You can also get paid to take surveys it's not a whole lot of money, but it adds up. And if you can, you should also try to create more passive forms of income, like stock photography or stock video, or in my case, I upload designs to Redbubble. Once the designs are uploaded, I don't have to do anything but share links on social media. They make the products and they ship orders. It isn't a whole lot of money, but it adds up after a while. As far as selling your stuff, it may not always be a viable option, especially if you're already living pretty minimally, but everybody has some stuff that they could probably get rid of. Clean out the garage and clean out your closet and make a pile. If you already make a Goodwill pile, try to sell it before you take it to Goodwill. You could always hold an old fashioned garage sale, but if you don't have the space, there's lots of apps that you could use to sell your stuff. Facebook Marketplace is a great tool to narrow down your audience. You can list stuff for sale in different Facebook groups that are specific to the item that you're trying to get rid of. But then there's also Craigslist, OfferUp, Declutter, LetGo. There's so many apps. Some cities now have an app where you get paid to walk other people's dogs. I highly recommend using Google as a tool to try to find more alternate part-time jobs to increase your temporary income. And remember the money from these odd jobs and this new temporary income is for your trip. Stay focused. Which brings us to tip number five, focus on your goal. It gets really hard to keep saving and making all these sacrifices if you lose sight of what you're aiming for. Make reminders for yourself. If you're a visual person like me, make a vision board. Cut out pictures of magazines of the places that you wanna go and put it somewhere where you have to look at it every single day. Spend some time every week planning or adding to your trip. If you use the calendar on your phone, make reminders for yourself. Like, hey, guess where you're gonna be in a couple weeks? Or get one of those cheesy countdown clocks to put on your home screen. Keep the hype going. Tip number six, put a little bit of money away every single week. This may seem really obvious, but it's really important to remember. Break down your travel budget. Food, gas, lodging, and paperwork. Add all of that up, then divide it by how many weeks there are between you and your leave date. That's how much money you need to put away each week to make it happen. All of the extra money that you're gonna make from those odd jobs or selling your stuff is put towards your fun money or even upgrading your accommodations. Tip number seven, buy bulk or generic food. Stop buying brand name food. You can save a ton of money by buying the store brand, shopping sales, and buying bulk food. 
You should especially be buying bulk in pasta, flour, rice, oatmeal, and nuts. Bonus points, buy groceries like you normally would and then keep the receipt. The next time that you go grocery shopping, make sure that you buy store brand or bulk foods and then do the math on the difference about how much money you're saving between buying brand name and store brand food and then put that difference into your piggy bank. Tip number eight, stay at home and do free stuff. You're already paying to live in your home, spend some more time there. When your friends suggest going to the bar or a coffee shop or a movie or something, suggest something a little cheaper. <laughs> Hang out in a park or in the woods or down by the river. Try to avoid places where you have to pay to park. Take up hiking, it's free. It's only gonna cost you the amount of gas that it takes to get to the trailhead, and it's a great workout, which will help with the stamina on your trip. Bonus points, put five to $10 in your piggy bank every time you avoid going to the bar or going to the movies. Or be real hard on yourself and put $10 in your jar every time you leave the house and it's not to buy groceries or go to work. Cut away extra bills. I know that everybody and their mother is preaching this right now. This is the one where it comes down to how badly you wanna go versus how badly you need to save that extra money in order to go. Cut out every single subscription bill that you can. I'm not talking about like the normal things that you do every day in your house to try to cut down those bills, like showering less, making sure that the dishwasher is totally filled up before you use it, or washing your dishes by hand, making sure that all of the lights are turned off if you're not in the room, unplugging stuff that's not in use. All of those things add up too, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about subscription bills like Hulu and Netflix, subscription boxes like Naturebox, Google Play Music, Pandora, Spotify Premium, any subscriptions to products that you have on Amazon. A lot of these things seem like they're super vital to our daily life, but in reality, what is more important? I know that life without Netflix sounds like a nightmare, but YouTube is free. Sony Crackle is free. These are just a couple of examples of how to save money for a trip. Obviously, everybody's lifestyle is different, everybody's circumstances are different. So how you save money for your trip is going to be very specific to how you live. Please let me know how you save money for your road trips or if I missed anything in this video, please leave it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. A tiny update on my wrist. I got my cast off. I'm allowed to hold a pencil again. It is very exciting. My quality of life has gone up like 60, 70%. I'm still not allowed to ride, but baby steps, right? <laughs> now that I can draw again, I'm doing this thing called paying my medical bills off one drawing at a time. So if you're interested in helping me, I have originals for sale in my Etsy shop, link in the description, as well as the link to my Redbubble shop. Every little bit helps you guys. Even if you just buy a sticker, it all helps. In the meantime, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys later.